Peter Block, TCT 2019 in San Francisco for ACC.org. Uh, I'm here with Suzanne Marin, who has uh, looked at the quality of life issues after TAVR. Not an unimportant question, and uh, we've known about quality of life issues about some other trials that Suzanne has actually looked at. But this is partner three. Yes. Relatively low risk patients. Uh, how do the patients do Suzanne surgery versus TAVR? Everyone always thinks, oh, TAVR is going to walk away with this. Do they really or do they not? How's surgery doing? So surgery is doing okay, but yeah, I think TAVR is going to walk away with this one. So uh, what we found was that at one month, not surprisingly, patients who were treated with TAVR had significantly better quality of life than patients who were treated with surgery. Not shocking, people are still uh, recovering. However, what was interesting is, is that at six months and at a year, at times what we would assume that patients have completely recovered from their surgery, we still saw a persistent quality of life benefit for patients treated with TAVR. Yeah, I, I cheated because Suzanne and I talked about this before we got on camera. We did. And in fact, in partner two, there was a signal that this was going on, not a randomized trial or not a randomized signal as such, but there was this sense that even at six months, the patients who had surgery or thoracic surgery of some kind, we'll talk about that in just a second, uh, didn't do as well. So now we're out to one year and they're still not doing as well with surgery. What's going on? What is, what is happening here? Yeah, where is this coming from? So, you know, we did an analysis to try to figure out where did this persistent benefit come from? And one of the things that we looked at was in our subgroup analyses and we found that patients who were considered to have New York Heart Association class three or four at baseline had a significant benefit in being treated with TAVR versus surgery as compared to patients who are baseline New York Heart Association class one or two. And it was actually these patients who had a, had a large clinical benefit, which we defined as a greater than 20 point increase on the KCCQ. Um, and so that subset of patients, I think, is who is actually driving the persistent benefit that we're seeing at one year. So it's the sicker patients who do better. Perhaps not surprising because their AS goes away and their heart gets better Exactly. a lot more than the patients who are not so symptomatic. But I think in what's particularly interesting in this, folks, is that these were low-risk patients who actually weren't all that symptomatic at baseline. Most patients actually were class 1 to 2 heart failure at baseline. Even in those patients, though, we still saw a significant benefit at one year for those patients, whether they were treated with surgery or TAVR. So even for patients who don't have a ton of symptoms, they still get a benefit from getting their aortic valve replaced. So I've got to, uh, oh, they, I think you get a benefit from getting your aortic valve replaced. Yeah, absolutely. But there is a, a little bit of a group that had TAVR but had alternative access, not femoral access. They don't do as well either, do they? If you go into the chest, it's not good for you. Absolutely. Now, you know, in partner three, we didn't look at that because everyone was treated transfemorally, but absolutely in partner one A, when one A, one B, and partner two, absolutely. Folks who were treated with a transthoracic alternative access approach did no better than surgery. Yeah. Mother Nature doesn't like to have something stuck into your chest. No, she does not. There you go. Okay, so the short version of this analysis, give me the, what the take home message for the docs out there. I think for patients who you're thinking, a low risk patient, they've got an option of either being treated for surgery or for TAVR. However, I think if there's someone that you're borderline on and you think they may look a little frailer, they may have a little bit more symptoms, maybe that tips you in favor of TAVR. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks, Suzanne. Thank you so much.